So what's good fam? So I owe y'all car reviews or the uh, reviews of the new trucks we just got. However, they both have some nighttime features that I won't be able to get during the day. So I'm gonna give y'all that right now. So right now, this is just all the bells and whistles. None of this stuff is needed. It's just accessories, bells and whistles, and the little extra bonus and pluses that you get. That's just neat. And I'm, I, I like that stuff. And as you see, everything lit up. The logo lights up on the ground. The door handles light up. Um, and if I walk away from it, all that's just gonna turn off. If I get far enough away from it, there it goes. And just go, that's when it unlocked, just now. And just this door unlocks. But of course Lincoln is lit up right here. Um, navigator pops up, but anyway, that's the console at night. Let me get in the back. Um, so the captain seat one basically mimics this console. All of this stuff, almost all of this stuff is right here in the middle in the back and you only get this seat and that seat which i like the look i like the feel but we have family of six so it wouldn't have done us no good um oh shoot everything turned off but anyway that's the features at night here we go so you see it has ambient lights that stay i don't know how this looks in the frame but it's just like a soft glow throughout so it's never like pitch black in here and all that's adjustable you can change the color i think it looks kind of purple to y'all but to the naked eye right now it kind of looks tan the same color as the interior um but that's my i don't know if y'all can see the heads up display i'll show you that the panoramic roof during the day but anyway this is just some nighttime features of this uh truck that y'all will not be able to see during the day so that's my heads up display um, actually, you can actually see the little screen. I can't see this blue that y'all seeing, like all around here. I don't see that. I only see the numbers. So the camera's pulling up some stuff, but that's like what I see in, like low in front of me. When I have on the navigation, the arrows pop up of where I need to turn on there. So it kind of follows the street. All right, fam, here is the Lincoln Navigator. It's a 2018, 2018, 19, 2021 20, all pretty much the same i know they upgraded the computers and stuff on the inside 22 they changed up just a little bit and the screens are actually dope but here's the outside y'all gotta scoot back a little because this thing is long so i can get the whole thing in the in the video quick walk around i'm gonna show y'all inside a couple of features i know before I showed y'all, here's the key to it right here. The uh, unlock and window roll down, press and hold. That's for those hot days. Windows roll down. If you're walking away, you forget to roll the windows up. Guess what, they're gonna roll back up too. Everything's locked and secured and so, let me put the windows down so y'all can see. I can't tell what y'all can see because it's so goddamn uh, bright out here and I got sunglasses on. But as y'all see, light tan interior. Here's the seats, it has three settings on the passenger and the driver's side for seat memory. All of this stuff moves right here. Let me go ahead and get in and get it on. The seat massages you, y'all. That's the massaging right there function. To how you want it at the bottom, you want it at the top, you want it to massage your butt. These uh, adjust, you can adjust these on the screen. So when you get in, it's kind of like it grabs your butt and kind of holds on to you. It's something else. And you can adjust that to each person. Um, thank you. For, yeah, y'all seen all the stuff at night. Panoramic roof in the back, third row. But let me. Uh, Oh, my bad. So here's the back. It's beeping because I got the key on me. 
we put it in here so it'll stop doing that. Um, here's the back. Of course, this is one thing I love. Uh, the one thing I hated about GM up until 2022, they finally started doing it. Ford, Toyota. Um, I don't think Nissan started doing it yet with the Infinity and everything. But their seat, this middle seat, all three. This is three separate seats. One seat. Here's a separate seat. Here's a separate seat. They all independently slide forward and back. That's why this is my driving. This is set to me. That's why I can sit behind me right here. That's my knee. I got plenty of room right there. And I can even slide this forward and give me six, five, six, four and some change. Enough room to sit behind me. That's bigger. I can have to do more. That is not meant for just children. Usually third row SUVs, that's what they do. They Only a small child can fit back there, but six of me can fit comfortably. Seven, if we put me in the middle of me right there. Um, more than enough room. Let me put this back. Uh, but yeah, these seats recline. That seat reclines the middle. This seat reclines. Uh, that's something that a lot of, most of the big SUVs are missing. Um, I know Ford, GM are doing it. Uh, no, they all recline. They don't all slide. That's what I meant. They don't all slide. The third row reclines. Let me show y'all that. The third row reclines. Just hit this button. Boom, it pops up. Slide it forward. I know on Mercedes, it's like all of that is actually automatic. You hit a button and it moves up. It's extremely slow in the GLS. Uh, what is that? That's why I don't let these kids in my, tr in my vehicle. That's why I don't let them eat. Look at that. Um, that was food that wasn't trash by the way anyway third row i'm in the third row now seat is down again enough room i didn't put this one back but that's without it that's all the way back but it also this middle seat it can recline so if you got somebody up there that wants to recline they can put that back this seat reclines in the third row i'm reclining now this is two seats this is a longer one and then the shorter one kind of like the one up here so you can have it offset um in the back if you have to load stuff up you can set a single person load over here and load this down and fold this one down or you can uh set you know somebody over here and fold that one down anyway this is the, i'm reclined in the third row right now this is comfortable i could spend i could spend hours back here on the trip if i needed to let me just put that back anyway let me get out show y'all these other functions give me a second Oh yeah, getting in and out ain't that bad either. And you can also just pull this to do that. Multiple things you can do there. So here's the uh, back. I think from the previous generation to this generation, the back looks a lot better. Uh, the the generation before this one, Lincoln, was hideous. It was absolutely ugly. The one that they did prior to that, that actually looked good. So, but they hit a ugly time. I don't know. I don't know what they were doing. Anyway, this is the glass. I call it the cooler entrance in Kentucky. That's where I'm from. That's where you keep the cooler. When you're at the park or whatever, you can just keep the cooler back there out of the sun. Get your sandwiches, drinks, whatever. That's where you keep the cooler. Um, there's the other. That opens up enormous trunk i've actually had to use uh had fold the seats down to haul stuff quite a few times by now but here's the uh buttons to put the third row down that even puts the second row down i'll do them one at a time that's you can you can do them individually or all at once if you do the middle so i just hit the middle just to save time you'll see the headrest drop pop that folds that's now like short bed to medium bed truck length right there um, I can also that's the middle one that's the left one that's the right one um, that's I don't know how many feet that is it's, it's well over six seven seven and a half eight I don't know that's a lot of feet that's a lot of storage uh, and I can hit this button I can bring the third row back up by putting that button but the second row I have to manually do I'm not complaining about that. Let me go over here. Put these up real quick. Just fold that up. Fold that one. Can I reach that? Let me climb it in. Oh, that one. All right, people keep slowing down. I don't know. Here's the back. 
get back here real quick. Here's the back. This is a radio function. Um, you can turn. Oh, I got it locked up there because the kids kept messing with it. Anyway, radio, AC, you got 120 outlet or 118, whatever they want to call it. You got the traditional. Get down here so y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see it now. 120 traditional cigarette outlet and you got oh there it is and you got two usb jacks for charging and all that cup holder third row also has usb uh charging back there and that's the recline button for the third row cup holders and any shenanigans they want to get in to let me close this this is adjustable too. You can control the height of this. Let's say you're a shorter person and you can't reach that to close it. You can pull the gate down, press and hold that button and then it'll adjust to that height. Of course, I have it to the max because I'm taller. Anyway, you hit that. It goes down. You can also do it from the key. These at night, I showed y'all turn red when you open them, but the interior lights, uh, you got options to do that. Anyway, let me show y'all these seats. I might have to speed this up so you can see it. But this screen does pretty much everything. The newer models, this screen is even more advanced. It looks really dope. Um, it does a whole lot more to the vehicle. Anyway, that's the massage function. I think y'all can see that massage function this is the adjust this is the different adjustments to the seats all these different well let me go to driver so all these different settings up and down are all of this on the seat it's it's pretty fire i have to say so myself i didn't know this thing did all of that to be honest with you before i got it it's a, a revel system i know i showed y'all angel says the bose uh, system that sounds really good and it's even three settings over here for the uh, passenger. But in a nutshell, that's the Navi, y'all. I was on the fence between Navigator and uh, Escalade. Um, I chose Navigator. A lot of people automatically pick Escalade just because of the name. It's got the keyless entry over here. Probably won't work because I'm outside. I think you can see that. Anyway, it has numbers right here in case you can't see them, so you can put the code in. I got that code reset. Anyway, everything goes back, pushes up out of the way, pedals. Oh yeah, the pedals adjust in and out. That's how you open the gate from the back. I can adjust the pedals. All that goes to the memory setting. Lights do a bunch of crap. Y'all get it. I just wanted to give y'all that little review. I like the Escalade, they dope. The new one is dope, um, but this one, if I were to get a 2018 Escalade, it wouldn't do half the stuff. It wouldn't be half as nice. Um, you still got column shift in 2018 in Escalade. They just changed that this year, I think, and for the 2022 model. Anyway, that's the uh, Navigator. They're both very good competitors. You can't talk about dopest SUVs without bringing up the Navigator and the Escalade. Um, I'm happy with it.